What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is the first video of 2021. Excited to get back to doing more workflow videos so you guys can take this information and use it on your projects. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about punch lists. I created this template to make it easy for the engineers when they go out to the field and do their punch list walk. Once they come back to the office, everything is nice and organized. I'm also gonna skip a few steps on how to create spaces, how to create a tool chest, and then how to create custom columns just to save some time while we go through this video. I have a few other videos on my YouTube channel that you can go and reference on how to create those different things, then come back and then try to follow this workflow. So I'm, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the spaces. As you can see here, I created a space for this sheet here, which is the paving and grading plan. Then the next sheet that we're gonna be, the, the building that we're gonna be walking is the dewatering building. I created one main space for the entire building then another space for inside of the building, then another, another space for outside of the building. Once we do that, then we're gonna go to our markups. What I did here is I created a sequence out of that markup and you can hit define and you can add a prefix or a suffix. And in this case, I, I added the Archer Western structures. Click okay, so once I enable my markup, and drop the markup into the PDF, the sequences will start building and those will represent different punch list items that we have to correct. So the next thing will be the custom columns for this PDF. Uh, I created uh, a few different custom columns. Again, you can go back to my custom columns video and then go through how to create the different custom columns. But I created a, a responsibility, priority, and discipline. And those will help the punch list items once we create them, they will drop nice and neat into the markup list. And then the other thing that I created was the different layers. So different disciplines for different punch list items that we're gonna be uh, creating in the field. The next thing, uh, make sure you export or send yourself the tool chest. Uh, so make sure you save it somewhere on your desktop, then you go to your email and then email yourself the tool chest so you can have it on your iPad. I already did this, but let's do it again so you guys can see how this happens. So now that we did this, we're gonna go to our iPad. All right, so now we're on the iPad and then before we go out to the field, there's a few things that we might wanna do. Open up the Bluebeam app, connect to your studio project, open up the PDF that you're gonna be working with. Then the next thing that you want to do is go to your email and then open up the tool chest that you email to, email to yourself, double click on it and say copy to review. And now it automatically gets imported to your tool chest and then it's right here. So now we're going to go out to the field. I'm going to go, let's say I don't have any Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to disconnect and then we're going to start doing our walk. So we're going to check out the item and then we're going to go to our first location. And let's say in this pond area, we need to uh, clean up something here and then grade this section here. And as you can see, uh, the markups are, are being automatically labeled as one, two, and then let's just drop another one for three. So now we can go to the first one, double tap on it, microphone, cleanup area. We can also take a photo of the stuff that we have to clean up. I'm just gonna take a photo of the table. Go to the second markup, double tap on it, microphone. Regrade this area. Take a photo. And then I'm not gonna do anything on the third one. So now we're gonna go to the second page and then let's say this penetration here, I uh, need to grout around it. So I'm gonna grab the structures markup, drop it. There's something else here. The structures crew needs to uh, clean up the concrete splatter. And then I'm gonna pick another one for the sub. They need to finish their scope of work. So now we're back at the office. We're gonna check out the PDF that we just uh, we're working with out in the field. And then as you can see, the different markups are created. If we open up the markups list, then you can see that everything is broken up by Archer Western grading structures and the sub. You can set a status as either open. So if it's red, it's open uh, or corrected, it's accepted, rejected. But once it's closed, then the status is gonna turn green. That means this punch list is done. Um, responsibility, everything is done. It, it, it kind of happens automatically. We don't have to go in and pick anything manually. And then everything uh, goes 
under the respective layer, either grading, structures, or sub. Now we can go here and then click on the photo that we took out in the field, and then we can say export. We're gonna export it to our project. Another thing that I can do is I can go back to my spaces and then I can create a another space on top of that. I'm going to say for the structures team, this is 001. I can say right click, click on snapshot and then go back to my last page. I already created this template ahead of time. And then I'm going to say paste that here. I can add a photo, pick it from my project, drop it here so the guys will know where on the project it will be and then what photo is related to that and then if i want to add anything uh to this a grout penetration i can do that as well i can link it to this space here so once i click on it it'll take me directly to the markup or the space that we just created and then i can click on the um markup here as well and then edit action and then link it to the one that we just created so it's easy to go back and forth between the markup that we created on out in the field and anything that we want to write down to be more specific so the guys in the field can have a little bit more knowledge of what needs to be corrected and then we can filter let's say by joe he can see what the, what stuff he needs to correct anything that's under his name and then we can start uh, marking up the items that we need to mark off so this is my workflow uh, you can modify it however you want to however uh, best fits your project or the things that you need to do uh, hopefully you learned something new from this or kind of gave you more ideas on different workflows that you can come up with uh, using spaces hyperlinks uh, sequences with your tool chest and then filtering uh, by different items here on the markups list. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one.